Hey YouTubers! I would like to talk about a character that disappeared from a very awesome web show we all know, Cartoon. Back in the 2000s, it disappeared from 2010 to 2015. Monster High. Yes, today we're going to talk about Monster High, of one of its most smartest characters that was deleted and removed from Monster High, the new series. The new original? Pfft, give me a break. Search on Gulia from Monster High. I have a search engine that's searching for her right now, and here she is, Gulia Yip. We all know and love this zombie of a character. She may be, mm, mm, but with the, mm, she's intelligent, smart monster that works and friends with Cleo, the Odenio. But sadly, she's been removed from the new Monster High, the also new Frankie. Okay, she's smart, but she's got nothing on Guya. Draculaura. Ugh. Over to Cleo. Where is Guya? And are you going to tell me that this new, um, I don't know, girl that's the villain would be this Guya in a new form? Yeah, right. I don't think so. I'm not going to believe that dumb theory. Right now, I'm researching the information about Guya, and so far, I would love it if she came back. But sadly, there has been no news on a new Gulia's appearance for the new Monster High. Ugh. New Monster High is okay with its animation, but where's Gulia? You've seen all the others. Cleo, Frankie, Draculaura. Heck, we've seen a lot of new creatures, but where is Laguna? I mean, Laguna's new style is okay, but where is well, where is Gulia? That's what I'm talking about. Does anyone know what happened to Gulia? Does anyone see the sign above my window? No, because there's no sign above my window. If my window is over there, with the curtain. <laughs> so yeah, Gulia has disappeared. Just be new as one of the most smartest characters from the show. Sadly, she has disappeared. Last time she showed up was. 2014, but with this new appearance, there's no Gulia. No Gulia on the new Monster Original. Nothing. We have tons of pictures here on the Wikipedia with all of her pictures of herself, but not from the new Ugh, the original Monster High. And I'm saying this with a frown fade, but where's the Gulia? Gulia should be in the new Monster High series. She should be, and I'm looking for pictures of information about her, and he mentions about her, but nothing. She's like, Vanis disappeared. I'm trying to look at any new appearances, and I'm a researcher in my family, and so far, there's not a single new information that she'll ever be in it. But wait a minute. There's actually some information that I'm finding that could be revealing. Do you know that monster that's that, 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 New Monster Zombie, Montecana. Well, it says here that, in short, in the in the in the first Monster High book, Gula refers to herself as an only child. But in the end of the fourth book, back to deader than ever, if you notice she has an older sister named Montecalo, or should we say that villain from the the New Monster High? So, are you guys thinking that Montecalo could be? The meanest older sister to the sweetest Gulia ever. I'm about to show you proof. I have a link on here. I'll put the link under there in the subscribers after the video, of course. But I will show you. Oh, sorry about the beeps. I've been downloading some good old movies. Monster High. The old ones. The new ones? Pfft, give me a break. I don't like new ones. I kind of like the old ones. And I'm looking for information and well... Last information appearance she had on here was. What was it? The last movie where. Um, let me see. Um, I'm actually trying to remember when the last time she ever showed up. This is Gulia, our favorite monster. Zombie that's intelligent. But where is she now? Even now, as I research this, there is no information about her showing up. Nothing. 
I know you guys can't read it, but I will send you the link. That's your pet owl, and this is the information I found here. See this bat light? That's the name of Monte Carlo. See here? It says here. Book of the Dead, read it in ever. It revealed that she has an older sister named Monte Carlo. And she could be that zombie we all know and hate. The one who appeared in a new one. I'm about to search for her. And now you give me a minute and I will show you what I'll find. In any case... If, if she is going to show up, but when is she going to show up? That's the question. When is she going to show up? Here she is. Monte Carlo Yip. And she's known to be the sister. Ugh. Monte Carlo Yip is a family older sister, a warm term for the parents, both works and fictional. We have a name spelled unclear or middle meant to be. Suddenly, so what appearance makes in the family that you stand out briefly. Gulia has a little bit of how she shared her first name. But what is this? Monte Carlo Decay. What if they're related in some way? What if? I mean, it's good we have a new villain for the show, but where is Monte Carlo? I mean, I mean where is Gulia? Here is Monte Carlo. A lot of people have made a theory that Monte Carlo could evolve into the sweet Gulia we know and love. However, I don't believe in that theory. That theory is garbage. Or should I say, <clears throat> Here's Monte Carlo. She's a zombie student in Monte Carlo. Revolves around the court. Revolution of the court. One who rejects the idea of monsters should pattern with p p be friends. You know what I mean? So all I'm saying is, where could she be? And where is she gonna? Is she ever gonna appear? Will Gulia ever come back again? I really want Gulia to come back. There hasn't been any plans of Gulia. I even have checked on YouTube about it. Where's Gulia? Where's our favorite zombie Patel girl who was always friends with, uh, of course, with Cleo Denio? Where is Gulia here? I'm sad that she's not in the show and makes me want to cry. <laughs> uh. I'm very sad that she hasn't appeared since. Well, let's go see when she when she appeared in last. Let's see. Let's see how I'll type up uh, Guya's last appearance. Honestly, you think the people at Monster High Company, the one who created the show, would add her in? Let's see. Last appeared. Oops, got a message. Here we are. Guya's last appearance. Hmm. That is hard to decipher when she ever her last appearance. Let's see. Here we are. Guya yep. Smart yet intelligent. And there's a lot of Wikipedia about her on Monster Frictional Weekly, Monster High Weekly, which we just came from. Let me see. Gulia, yep, here we go. Let's see. Yes, I don't see any new appearance of her in Monster High or in the new Monster High. I'm afraid we'll never know if she's ever going to be in this new Monster High. Even as we speak, I'm looking at the information about the new Monster High, Monster High, the party never stops. I love the old one. But then they added <sighs> the new. The new is just no, has no clue what to do. Okay, it has no clue what to do. <laughs> okay. Here is the reboot that was done by 2016, and that one was just... There is no Gulia. When I was watching the, um, Welcome to Monster High, no Gulia. Monster High Lecture, no Gulia. 
Even in these new little stores calling all ghouls, there has been no ghoulia. And right now, I'm researching if there's ever going to do it. And unfortunately, I'm checking all the episode information. There's no ghoulia. Now, I'm going to ask an important question to the computer. And to you guys, do you think that Ghoulia Yip will ever appear in the uh, reboot of the new Monster High? Well, I think not. But I do want her to appear in the reboot. Let's see if we can ask my computer if it's going to happen. Let's see. Well, Ghoulia Yip be in the reboot. Uh, the reboot of Monster of Monster High. Let's ask. How do you boot in the next generation? Let's see what monsters we have here. <coughs> Dracula, Frankie. Ugh. Let's see if there's any information about Gulia. Oh, here's some information I found out about Gulia. Okay, guys, this is what I found out. Okay. <clears throat> Summer 2016 follows the Welcome to Monsters High movie, Matter Convent. Pretty Monster High descended to give go the MS Bessie rebranded, rebooting, blah, 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 revamped, new character, original series, new characters, some return ones, and particularly the main crew, except Gulia and Douche. What? I know. They're not going to appear, and I'll read it again to make sure the fans know this, but particularly the main character, except Gulia and Deuce. They will not return, except Gulia and Deuce. Except Gulia and Deuce. I know, I know. Deuce is supposed to be the son of, and supposed to be with, Cleo. But who's going to be Cleo's new love interest now, hmm? I should just go as Monster High Incorporated, because they say... No Gulia. Let me read this. I can't. Particularly the main character. Except Gulia and Douche. Return upon launching a new reboot. Hot wait. Did Douche did appear in a new in a new? Let's go and look at a I'm gonna go look with the sound off. Because well there goes. I'm just gonna lower the volume so you guys don't exactly see it. Don't exactly you know. Oh wait, he does appear in a new one. Yeah, he does. Or does he? Sorry. I'm like a mystery person. I tend to act like a mystery. Let me see. Let me see now. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I hope you didn't hear it. Alright, let's see about douche and... Uh, douche. Douche. It's hard to say his name. Uh, son of Medusa. I'm just coming back. Reboot of Monster High. You think he does? It's hard to remember though. Seriously, computer, you're driving me off the baddie. <sighs> Drive me off the wall here. Let's see. Okay, first thing is first. Yep, the sound is off, so you guys don't have to hear the sound. I'm sorry, guys, but for ten purposes, the sound will be off. I'm sorry, but I need to look. Hmm. Hmm. It's always hard to know and or what's ever gonna happen. Let me check again. Hmm. Monster High Reboot. Oh, honestly. <sighs> I 
I need to go to the monster reboot each page. Let's get back to the read. I will tell. I will definitely mention this in a later video if I can. I'm gonna go look to the episodes as you speak. And so I need to ask you guys, where is Guya? Will she appear in this new show? Well, we do have him. Yeah, I was all kidding. Deuce is in the show, but where is Guya? I'll continue on with the read. Turn out new reboot with new face mods. Brand new fashion, other characteristics. The biggest question many ha many Monster High fans have it. Why try to reboot already successful brand after only six years? In question, the play of my mind as well. It baffles me how matter how you know the one that created the um, Barbies when the brand is at the height of sort time frame. Even through this would be perceptively a business idea. What did graphics research have they studied? Just for the fact that I couldn't fathom the idea of reboot at this time, I still took my time creating this review of Reputation, thinking maybe I should give this a chance. I gave a chance, and so far, reboot failed to impress me. No, oh, she got that right, or he. So right now, I'm going to let Matter have a voice. Apparently, Matter had these things to say. Buenas vidas, masters globe, ah, speaking in Spanish, oh God. Buenas vidas, post. Culture pheromones, massive global fashion is over 60 countries. Masai is ranking as the third biggest fashion doll brand of 1 billion annuals and a top 5 global percentage for girls. Masai empower girls who express their individuality from friendship that lasts beyond a lifetime. Great, we know this, and this is why we're confused about the necessary for reboots. That what it says down here. Now, entirely is the sixth year of marketing 2016. The brand will embrace an exactly new character, new chapter, maintaining, revealing every kind of costume as the exited description season. Everything brand, Monster High, will continue to represent the vile monster as what it means to be different, unique, empowering girls to be themselves. As a matter, these the ways to creatively maintaining and driving strong girls' empowerment brand. Okay, that's all well and good, but what about Gulia? When Guya appear, we do see Deuce in this show. I mean, the son of Medusa. We don't see Guya. Could my God be gay? Miss Decay, could she be Guya? Well, she turned into a head. Who knows? Let's say. I will read what else I found here. Hmm. Slim distribution. Here sounds just like the brass producing. Yeah, it does. Apparently, matter of reasons for changing the new Monster High dolls. What's the brand can be bring in level changing costumes? First, it could mean that they want to press new generation. My opinion would make much sense to reboot the brand. Just appear in the new generation as new, as the old monster is pretty relevant to kids today. After this old brand, six years old, but maybe they see the brand as a different meaning than it did in 2010 as much. That was she thinks. I was just saying, or he. Sorry, I don't know who wrote this, but whoever wrote this message is awesome. He or she may be right. I mean, the old Monster High was awesome. Plus, it had originality. Its animation, too, was a bit, well, late text. But I still love the animation. Whoever wrote this message here, he or she's a genius. Second, it could mean that much of the high Monster High fans base have been expressing their boredom with the Lion Mountain and want to make it, bring in it back, ever changing costume. I'm likely to believe that the real story is that they started Monster High to be in a campaign, a campaign, a rival with Brad's dolls and capture the tweens a dis audience when Brad were removed from the shelf. Now that the edgy teen is dying, Brad has become a thing of the past. Monster High's old image and story is no longer good. But that is just my theory. The key element that makes the brand disputed will remain that now infuses with more plays and producing while adding a renewed focus on the four characters of any story will make a mark and what brand stands for? The brand will graphically, while incorporating an ironically, I then breaks brand new unique relativity to the core, honestly, of six to ten years old. Suppose they say that they want to keep the key elements that makes the brand distribution. So far, I don't understand what they're talking about. As they're talking about the fact, at least they keep the monsters that she only thinks that they only think this would need more. Monster High was originally designed to capture the tweens and distance. 
After all, Gary Sando made the doll fantasies after absorbing teens and tweens and teens shop and hot topic. It has been popular among girls two and fourteen. It's pretty obvious that Meta has shifted the demographics, focusing on tween audience to kids with the reboot. Same mistake as the company of MGA made this possibly with many people complain that there are many monster higher fans at our age over ten. It's almost as a Meta forgot who they direct this brand in the first place. Their new looks look like it's made for kids. I also plan to focus on the four characters. Cool. But here's what they found about Gula. They also claimed to focus on the core character, but they didn't really relaunch Gula yet as one of the main characters. In the original, she was one of the core characters. Her name is even in the original theme song. Yeah. Yeah, the person who wrote this is right. That stinks. There's a lot of Gula fans out there. Yeah, I'm a fan of Gula. Because I'm a bookworm. I'm a smarty pants in my family. And Gula was my favorite character. Even though she was slow, we're all slow in our own way. We were born like that. We were born to be special ed. She is an awesome character. She's an awesome character. She inspired those who have slow slow ways, but super intelligence. Trust me, I was slow growing up, and well, Gulia was awesome. Even when I was getting my adulthood, she inspired me. It's mostly focused on the core characters, meaning that they don't really plan braiding any extra character story at the table. It's probably because fans have been complaining about matter regarding new characters all the time, but I'll focus on the dolls they already have with a unique going. The brand will also launch an extra new weird brand companion, new costumes, uh, cry. How do you boo? Encounter costumes to embrace what makes them unique and shares how they boo. Working with celebrations, the brand new spokespeople campaigning with communication to mean the boo. Yourself, our movement and current girls are same. For Amanda explain this new slogan, How do you boo? is supposed to encounter us to embrace and make us unique and share that. But Monster High already encountered people to embrace that they made themselves unique. Don't get what the slogan is supposed to mean. How is boo referring to ask and embrace and make us unique? Are they asking how scared people are? They're asking about how you own scare. Maybe it's supposed to go over well at Twitter. So far, you can already tell where this reboot is heading. You probably can guess I'm not a fan of it. Upon the reboot, the animation looks very different from the original counterpart. The Monster High dolls are no longer the glossy eyed freaks of nature that haunt themselves in the hip store. No, they are now dual live little monsters that hardly seem as if they haunt anything. Like they view them as haunted as laughable. <laughs> I can actually agree with you. The old version of it looked much more better. Look much more better. I can agree with that. Let me compare the old dolls to new ones, and I'll show you that in a minute. We're reading this one. Between them, let me know if you see my see is just my imagination. In my opinion, monster dolls look more like elementary school kids. Okay, here is the appearance. Bam! This is just wrong. I like this old style. Plus, her heart and simple fangs were beautiful, and Frankie, scarf. Gothic. The other side, yellow, black, and white. No. Blue, black, and white. I love. Oh, all right. Crystal Heart Ladybug. I just got this new ladybug for me, baby. My boy, my uh, my father got it for me. He's wonderful. He's a good father. Back to what people want to know. What about Gulia? Is she ever going to shop? No. Some people like the cute look better, just like the anime that came out with. I love anime, but new anime she says, the only one I like was the, um, I'll tell you about that one. I'll talk about that one in a later review. Let me just be honest, this movie smelled like a failure to me. I'm pretty sure it's a failed attempt to compete with Disney Princess line with the old brush competitors of the way. I'm sure Amanda is less interested in keeping up with the outdated edgy trends and more interested in keeping up with the Disney Princess Frozen Descendant Foundry. It's getting attention to customers these days. Keep it in mind, while I find the reboot to be laughable, I'm not all surprised the reboot happened this way so soon. In fact, I predicted that Meta would definitely run out of ways to keep age interesting and would maybe have to reboot the whole thing ever later. Monster High, the Halloween trend. Consider how Matter is the kind of company that cares about the originality they love by thing anything unless it's on trends, which is something I had mentioned in an article. Fourteen way matters can screw up a doll line. It also does not surprise me that Monster High doll look more like little monster Barbies. I can't agree with this person who ever wrote this. Whoever wrote this, you're right. 
After all, the same producer of Barbie created Monster High. I'm, sur I'm surprised anyone is surprised at how the outcome of this movie is considered the fact. I want to talk about which part of the reboot I liked and I part I did. I want to talk about what part of the reboot I would like which part I didn't. But I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't quite found a whole lot of things mostly. Monster High Doll features. Ugh. Monster High Doll has changed. A point that seems like a total different line. Monster High. It is hard to believe that they call Monster High. When I, when I look at these dolls, none of them actually look like monsters. Actually, she's right. Seriously, they did like normal little girls. Matter, the only one thing that made it is that you take it away. What business does that make exactly? I can agree with you. They even removed one character that was my favorite from the newest development. Before the original Monster, before the new came in. 2014, the skeleton girl. I kind of like her, and they removed her, though. One of the features that I would disabuse any different in discussion as their eyes, their new eyes gave no sense of personality. They just looked like a bunch of goo goo eyed girly girl made only to stand up and look cute. There is no message behind them, no depth, no mystery, just an enraged eye kids, friendly. Ugh. Other parts of the new franchise features of MH is that they seem to be lacking any details and qualities. Let me. Use Frankie as an example. Frankie had one of the most detailed bodies with a value stitch and that may seem path for her skin to bolt. Detailed patches would work with her neck. But now the path work that was so nicely constructed, Frankie's neck looks like someone put a bunch of stickers together. It's hard to look like a patch. And poor Laguna. Poor Laguna Blue, her old doll had webbed hands and the present of her water monster gathered. But now her fingers are just average fingers, no destination from the other dolls. Skelet Covenants, a new look, is what troubles me the most. For Skeleton, she seems to have a very fleshy face compared to her old look. This is her old look. We all know. I love her in Skelet Covenant in the Paris movie. This is what she looked like back then, and this is what she looks like now. I'm horrified! She doesn't look like a skeleton. This is a skeleton. That's just a little girl wearing a costume with roses. Oh. I love roses, and Rose is my middle name. My Italian name is right Rose, but I would not ever make a dress like that. That's that's not Skeletina. It's it's uh, her evil twin. What really takes away from M H monstrous look is anticipated dolls that they hardly have any monstrous body at all. The original had neither our or enter truck or distance from one another. Maybe this is all to do with budget cuts or quantity something that increased when companies struggle with lines, but seriously, the big dual eyes was quite unnecessary. Can I also mention that how all the dolls upon reboot have pink lips now? Thank goodness Deuce is supposed to be a guy who is on ten layer makeup. Otherwise he would also have pink lips like the rest of them. What message is Monster I trying to send for making monsters look normal? Well, consider the slogans no longer be yourself, be unique, be a monster, or freak just get fabulous. I guess Matter is no longer care about promo such value any longer. I care more about how someone boo, whatever that means. I get the hint from some readers from Discontinued Toy Line regret why they made such drastic changes for this feature and as just I have Soccer moms have struck again. No, not soccer moms. No. Yeah, soccer moms did ruin this actually. Harry Monster High was too scary for children. So the original target demographic should have been old enough to understand that harmless these dolls are. Some parents really thought that these dolls were designed for eight years old and child. And when the original target age was ten to fourteen, to be instead a matter could risk getting on parents' bad side. Non decline in market. I guess they had sacrificed a quality doll line to stay in parents' good grief. Good grief! Mother of pink! I should say mother of red. It's an old term from Brad's TV show when I was a kid. Yeah, I was in the Brad's when I was a kid, but I was when I was younger. Monster High dolls clothes and necessities. They were awesome. They were hip. The main appearance of Monster High's freaky, fabulous fashion. Made excited monsters value unique ways. Outfits usually had just more detail, but ancestors, accessories are always to die for. But the reboot, while the outfits are not typically hideous, they're simply unappealing, uninspired, not original enough, especially when it comes to accessories. 
Here is the old style, guys. The old. Fabulous. And then... Ah! Hideous. I'm a doll maker, and I do make dolls and dresses, and even I wouldn't make those for my doll. Even for Halloween, I wouldn't. Trust me, you seen the way I designed clothes back then when I was younger. In the original lodge, each of the girls had their own style of flair. They had accessories. Simply bring out the best in each outfit. Not only part of their outfits resembled, but currently monster hybrids to patterns do and look fabulous. And now that's new monster reboot. I'm not going to continue talking about this because this is taking me a long time, but I would love to see Gulia. Before I stop, I will show you a picture of Gulia, what she looked like before they removed her from this vapid shallowness they do doing now. Let's see. Both out. Boring. Here's an old picture of Gulia. Back then, when she was just a beautiful girl, beautiful zombie with blue hair. Which I like blue hair. Believe me, when you're a doll maker, blue hair is naturally the good color. Blue red. And I'm just going to read the parts for Gulia now. Because, well, I can't really be on all day. I'm going to look for Gulia, and so far, that's all I can find on Gulia. Nothing else. But all I can say is, whoever wrote this on, uh, let's see, the name of this website is called I'm just going to spell it out to you. I'm not very good at reading big words. S-O-R-A-T-O-T-H-A-M-A-X dot W-O-R-D-P-R-E-S-S-I com. Dot com. Sorry. I do read books, but there are some words I can't really read a lot. I'm looking at Gulia, and so far, let me just read for Gulia. Sad. It's really sad that back in 2010, when they brought this into the world of Monster High, we had a lot of great characters who were impressive. Frankie, Cleo, over all sorts of characters. Even we had a vampire and a werewolf fall in love, and we don't even see Claude. Oh, we don't even see Claudine's brother. We don't. We just see little baby puppy wolves, and the mom. Seriously, I'm not against mom because I have a mom. Most day, but it's just, it's just wrong. It's just wrong. It's just there's no Gulia. There's no interesting high school. The high school I used to love watching was dark and scary. And goggles used to fall down, and they're Headmistress was awesome. She is supposed to be the daughter of the Headless Horseman. And I love Mistress Headmistress. She hasn't appeared. Claudine has two sisters, an older brother, along with a few other siblings in the reboot. However, she only has little brothers. What does this mean for the future of Claude, Pauline, and Claudina? Siblings in the original story. It may mean that we'll never get to see these characters ever again. Yeah. And here's the reboot. And with this reboot, Gulia is replaced by a new zombie character known as Moncla Decay. Unlike Gulia, who speaks some language, apparently Moncla speaks like a normal person. I guess Matter really wanted to put more emphasis on being normal and how great it is. And with the added touch, this new character, sign and color, says none other than the color pink. So, yeah. It's like, yeah. Monte Carlo Decay is representing. Gulia. Boo! I really hate it. I really hate it. And also, new characters. Spectra is replaced with a new character called Eris Haunting. Pretty sure that Onion will get into more monster form. And it's just because Spectra's name was going to be Von Huntington originally. <sighs> Yuck. And basically, that's all the information I can find on Gulia here. I'm looking for more, but that's really it. Basically, Monster High has went from frightening cool into childish and rude. Childish and boring. To tell you the truth, I, 
I wanted to see this lost movie also. Oh, oh about um, about Monster High, Meet and Ever After High. Luckily, it was turned to a book. The book was good, by the way. I read the book. I'm not going to spoil it. All I'm going to say is, go read the book. It's really good. Let's see. And here's what she says, the last thing about it. What bugs me even more is that the change they made the web animation style caused matter to cancer the lost movie. The movie that was supposed to be an anime crossover between the Monster High characters and Ever After High characters. It would have been good. Oh, it would have been good. <laughs> but sadly, it didn't. Was and that's forever after. Hi, you already know about my thoughts about that one, don't you guys? Yeah, you do. And basically, I agree with you guys. Monster High, it's now a joke. Here are the last words from this person. For some people who are twin teenagers, adult collectors that actually customers, this reboot that may be seen as a serious joke. I am one of those collectors who found this reboot to be one of the most laughable doll reboots in history. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about this new Monster High reboot. Do you love it or is it going or is it going to fail reboot activity like it's gonna in mine? And there you have it. These thoughts belong to a longtime Monster High fan. Also, the title of this is called Monster High Dolls Reboot how do you boo? And I will put the link down so you guys can take a look. Alright folks, that's all I have to say. This is the longest video I ever made. So, from me and Raven, she's in a little bug outfit with Tom Rose. Thank you, thank you. She actually got her lady bug outfit. And so do I. I'll show you my minute. She's got wings. Little wings. Bam! I got a new ladybug shirt and a ladybug pants. You can't see them, but yeah, you see them. Yeah, you see the ladybug. So basically, that's what I have to say for this thoughts on what happened to Gulia from Monster High the original. And guys, if you want to go check out the new Monster High series, go ahead. But I'm not. I've already watched a few episodes and it's like, it's just bad.